So the part we're gonna make now is this number 49. Uh, you can see this is the weight, number 52, and a pulley. Uh, but this 49, we're gonna do a little different. You can see it's got this U-shape. Uh, I'll show you how we're gonna make it because you gotta attach that 49 into the 52. Uh, and I'm gonna do that with a screw thread, uh, which they don't show here. And so what I've got drawn up is the part, I've got this Infusion 360. And you'll see it, I'm pulling this out of a cylinder. So I'm gonna go to the mill first. Um, get these shapes roughed out. We'll show you how we do that. And then we'll go over to the lathe and we'll turn this off to stock and put threads on the bottom and it should work out really well. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. So I've got a 5C collet um, clamped in this block. This is gonna be very handy as I've gotta flip this part. And once we're in here, we won't let it loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, hole in, put a profile in. You'll see me do that and we'll set up for the next uh, operation. So you can see here I've got the part repositioned and you notice what's critical is I kept it in this block so I know I'm square. So right now I've got the X coming down this way. First thing we're going to do, we're going to cut this slot. Then we'll come out and we'll do a profile to get this uh, nice and square. Should work out and let's start cutting. So we've got this mounted in the lathe. Uh, you can see the part came out pretty well. Uh, it's hard to see. I got a little bit of chatter. Um, that's because your a slot is that uh, end mill came down. Remember I said that had a chip in it. So not bad considering. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in. I'm going to leave a hundred thousandths on this uh, 0.375 diameter rod and then cut for the, uh, for the thread on the bottom. So I'm using a cutoff tool. I like to do this because you get a nice uh, square corner, a relatively square. And for a number eight, I'm gonna make a number eight thread on the bottom of this. And for a number eight, it's a 532nd. So I've done the calculation of this diameter minus the 532nd divided by two. It says I have to come in about 109 thousandths on this cut. Um, so I'm in, I'm in 100 thousandths. Uh, I gotta go zero it out. You'll see me do that, I'll just touch off. So you start to see a pretty good scrub across, so you know that you're flat on that. Uh, we'll set the indicator and then we'll come in, we'll take out 109, and then uh, we'll move the cutoff tool down so we get a reasonable length of thread, and then we'll uh, cut this part off and uh, clean it up, put the threads on.
So there we got the part. Uh, we'll clean this up. I'm going to see if I can put it in a uh, chuck um, to put that thread on. Otherwise, I'll have to do it by hand. Uh, but let's see what we got here. All right, so I'm got, I put the part back in there, and I'll show you that thing's running true. So we should be good. You see that spinning? I mean, it looks good. 832 tap um, in this device. And this is nice because it gets it right in line with the tailstocks. We'll come in. This allows you to tap a very nice uh, thread and much better than I can do by hand. So let's give it a go. We just keep a constant pressure, rotate this through, and we'll cut these screws, excuse me, these threads. And then what I'll do is I'll reverse this tap because taps, one end of them has a lead in the other end square. So if you see, this tap didn't get all the way into the base of this, uh, of this thread. So we'll reverse this tap and see if we can get a couple more threads on this thing uh, to get as close to the shoulder as we can. It'll just cut right at the last second. And it came out quite nice. Uh, so it screws in there fine. You can say nice, uh, a clean look to it, clean part. We'll put the wheel in here and I've got to make two of these. So uh, next thing we'll do is the wheel. I'll probably show how we put the groove in that wheel because there's a trick in uh, work holding we've got to do. But uh, pleased with how it came out. Um, we'll keep making parts. Hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe and would love to hear any comments.